Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Mathematics Parshala. This is a problem of CSIRNA December 2023 Mathematical Sciences. And this is a problem of Real Analysis Part C. The question ID is 704063. Let us first read the question. Let f such that r to r be a continuous function such that this inequality happens that mod fx minus fy greater than equal to log 1 plus mod x minus y for all x y belongs to r which of the following statements are true f is necessarily 1 1 f need not be 1 1 f is necessarily on 2 f need not be on 2 so we only need to check that f is 1 1 or on 2 so now let us first check if it is 1 1 or not. So for the definition to check 1 1 let x y belongs to R be such that fx equal to fy. So to prove 1 1 we need to show that x equal to y. So then put this fx equal to fy in this inequality because this holds for all x y belongs to R we have fx minus fy equal to just put fx this greater than equal to log 1 plus mod x minus y so this is 0 and also log of 1 plus something at an, uh, one non-negative quantity so 1 uh, one plus mod x minus always greater than equal to 0 so as this also less than equal to 0 so we must have log of 1 plus mod x minus y equal to 0. So that means this 1 plus mod x minus y equal to 1 and that is mod x minus y equal to 0 that is x minus y equal to 0 that is x equal to y. So if is 1 1. So if is f must be 1 1. Now, see if it is a continuous function from R to R and also it is 1 1. So, f must be either increasing or decreasing because such function is not f because in this case f will not be 1 1. These two points will have same image. So, as f is a continuous function from R to R and f is 1 1. So, either if is increasing or if is decreasing like that. So now also just we need to check if is on to or not for this we need to only check that f x tends to infinity as x tends to infinity or f x tends to minus infinity as x tends to infinity and the other part that is mod f x tends to infinity as x tends to minus infinity that holds or not. So now uh, let 1 x belongs to R and put just y equal to 0 then putting x and y in this inequality we have mod fx minus f0 mod greater than equal to log 1 plus mod x so now we have taken this x greater than 0 then we have this mod fx minus f0 greater than equal to log 1 plus x. Now clearly as x tends to infinity we, mu we must have this mod fx tends to infinity. Because otherwise, otherwise this right hand side is infinity and this mod fx minus f0 will be a finite real number which is greater than or equal to a number which tends to infinity cannot happen. So we must have this. And exactly in similar manner as x tends to minus infinity then similarly we have this mod fx tends to infinity. So now 
we have as x tends to infinity then mod f x tends to infinity and as x tends to minus infinity also mod f x tends to infinity. So now one thing can happen that as x tends to minus infinity f x tends to infinity as x tends to infinity then f x tends to infinity and also as x tends to minus infinity then also f x tends to infinity. So if these things happens then so then this f will be like this like this that's that as x tends to minus infinity f x tends to infinity and also as x tends to infinity f x tends to infinity but in this case f will not be 1 1 and we have f is either increasing or decreasing so we must have as x tends to infinity f x tends to infinity and as x tends to infinity f x tends to minus infinity or or the other case is as x tends to minus infinity f x tends to infinity and as x tends to infinity f x tends to minus infinity. So that means like this or like this. So these two things only can happen and in both the cases clearly f is on to because just without loss if we suppose the first option that x tends to the first option that is as x tends to minus infinity f x tends to minus infinity so like this and as x tends to infinity f x tends to infinity so in this case clearly f is on to because if we take one uh, real number say here then as x tends to infinity we must have some value say lambda and this is mu then this f lambda equal to mu so clearly f will be on to so here option one that is f is necessarily one one is the correct option and option three f is necessarily on to this is correct option and option two and four f need not be one one and f need not be on to are not the correct option so option 2 and 4 are not true in general and option 1, 3 are the correct options. This is the solution of this problem.